remind me of Beyonce. Come on, you've heard of her. She's a huge star, right? Doctor Strange is one of the more spiritual Marvel movies, but that doesn't mean it can't be funny just like the rest of them. When Benedict Cumberbatch shot this scene with Benedict Wong, he let something slip that wasn't in the script. Books on astral projection. You're not ready for that. Try me, Beyonce. When Wong tells him he isn't ready for astral projection, he was supposed to say try me, but instead added Beyonce as a reference to her song lyrics, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. This ended up in the film, and we're super glad it did. Try me, Beyonce. Come on, you've heard of her. She's a huge star, right? Some Marvel fans would argue that Thor Ragnarok isn't the best of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, despite being a pretty fun ride. But there's one scene that made it to the top of the most hilarious MCU moments. I am talking about this iconic get help scene. Hey, let's do get help. No. Come on, you love it. I hate it. It's great. It works every time. It's humiliating. Do you have a better plan? No. We're doing it. And apparently, this scene was completely improvised by Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston, who were told to just wing it, and came up with one of the funniest Marvel moments we've ever seen on the big screen. Get help! My brother's dying! Get help! Help him! Classic. When the Guardians of the Galaxy was first announced, it was really only comic book aficionados who knew what the story and the characters were about, which proved perfect for director James Gunn and Pratt, the pair using that to the film's advantage. I am So what? When Star-Lord is first held up at gunpoint after stealing the orb, Korath, like much of the audience, doesn't recognize him either, which gives birth to the now iconic line. Hey, you know what? There's another name you might know me by. Star-Lord. Who? Star-Lord, man. Legendary outlaw. Although Black Panther had no shortage of funny moments, there were several in particular that stood out. One of them was a scene in which Killmonger is being interrogated by the leadership of Wakanda, who doesn't believe he's a true descendant of their people. After he reveals his father was the slain prince in Jobu, everyone is shocked. As the shocking realization of who he is dawns on the room, Michael B. Jordan turns to the Queen Mother and his aunt by marriage and casually says, You intend that to run job? Hey, auntie. As funny as this line was, Jordan's co-star Bassett claims the line was not actually in the script and caught everyone off guard. Hey, auntie. During the big battle scene from Avengers Infinity War, Thor and Captain America reunite after years in the middle of the fight. Rather than exchange normal pleasantries, Hemsworth called out Chris Evans for copying his beard. You heard okay? Notice you've copied my beard? Considering that Evans's beard was actually a big deal for fans of the movies, since it was Cap's first time with facial hair, the line ended up working perfectly. You heard okay? Notice you've copied my beard? If there's one unscripted moment we're most thankful for, it's probably the one in this Thor scene. Thor descends to Earth with very little knowledge of humans or human life, and this obviously includes coffee. This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! It was actually the president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, who loved the unscripted moment and requested the directors keep it in the film. This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! Did you know that Hugh Jackman was the first character in any of the X-Men series to drop an F-bomb? Excuse me, I'm Eric Lentra. Tales Xavier. Go fuck yourself off was the line in the script. But after trying that seven times over, Jackman had an idea of his own that he wanted to try out for the last take. Excuse me, I'm Eric Lentra. Tales Xavier. Go fuck yourself. One of the hilarious scenes from Ragnarok featured a joyful Thor who spotted the Hulk after a long time. Although they were set to battle each other, Thor let everyone know that Hulk was a... We know each other! He's a friend from work! This line wasn't a part of the script and was suggested by a Make-A-Wish kid who was brought to the set. The suggestion was highly favored, and the line ended up getting added to the scene. We know each other! He's a friend from work! <clears throat> Perhaps the most memorable ad-libbed line in MCU history came from Robert Downey Jr. himself. Stark was holding a press conference, and during the scene, he revealed his secret identity. The truth is, I am Iron Man. That wasn't supposed to happen, but director Kevin Feige was so thrilled with the change in direction that he left it in the movie. I am Iron Man. 
Drax the Destroyer is meant to be a strong but relatively dim-witted character who takes himself way too seriously, aka the perfect role for wrestler Dave Bautista. One of Drax's best lines from the MCU came from Avengers Infinity War when he added the line, Where is Gamora? Who's Gamora? I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? The script was supposed to end with Robert Downey Jr.'s line, Who is Gamora? But Bautista embodied Drax and added it in. I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? While the language of the Dora Milaje in the Black Panther film was a real language spoken by some in Africa, the battle calls in Avengers Infinity War were actually improvised by the late Chadwick Boseman. The first Thor film featured the titular character as a hothead who did what he thought was right without fearing the consequences. This led to Odin taking away Thor's hammer and banishing him from Asgard. Thor's stepbrother Loki tried to intervene, but was quickly put off with a fierce growl by Odin. Father. Hey! Hey! The growl part of the scene came totally out of the blue and shocked everyone involved in the scene, as is evident from Loki's reaction. Father. Hey! Has there been a riskier joke in the MCU than the infamous Jackson Pollock gag from Guardians of the Galaxy? After Gamora comments upon how filthy Star-Lord's room is, he proudly declares, Your ship is filthy. If I had a black light, the place would look like a Jackson Pollock painting. Props to Chris Pratt and James Gunn for this one. Apparently, they came up with this hilarious one-liner on the spot during filming. Pratt's got a talent for improvising, and while he ad-libbed many cool moments in the first Guardians, nothing beats the awkward yet funny vibe of this particular gag. Your ship is filthy. If I had a black light, Place would look like a Jackson Pollock painting. You got issues, Quill. We all have our moments of weakness, right? Well, apparently Haley Atwell had one of those when she saw Chris Evans' chiseled body. In the first Captain America, her almost touching Chris Evans' chest wasn't scripted. She was just that impressed, and they kept that take in. One of the Avengers' most memorable moments involves Tony Stark calling out a S.H.I.E.L.D. employee with a witty remark. Batman is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. In the DVD commentary, director Joss Whedon revealed that Robert Downey Jr. spontaneously improvised this line, and he thought it was so funny they added a Galaga screen on the man's computer in post-production. That man is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. <laughs> we really hope we'll get to see Michael Rooker's Yondu in some form or another again. He was consistently one of the best things about Guardians of the Galaxy, nailing a balance that had him look like the galaxy's worst alien while simultaneously being a complete buffoon. In the first movie, Yondu exhibits this odd mixture when he interrogates the broker. The high-end community is... Oh, the high-end community oh, is... A, it's a oh, Apparently, this was fully ad-libbed. At one point, his deputy Craglin cracks up, and it's not clear whether it's actor Sean Gunn or his character who's laughing. The high-end community is a very tight This heartbreaking scene in Avengers Infinity War, where Peter Parker says to Tony Stark is cinematic magic. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go, sir, please. Please, I don't wanna go. This line was not part of the script. Tom Holland was only told to act like he didn't wanna stay on Earth, but he decided to throw in that line, and it couldn't have turned out better. I don't wanna go, sir, please. Please, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. While many of the Robert Downey Jr. moments in the MCU may seem scripted, he sure improvises a lot. In this scene, Tony Stark is having a little talk with Peter Parker, but Tom Holland forgot he was supposed to move over and let Tony sit next to him. Instead of breaking character and stopping the cameras, Robert just casually told him, I'm gonna sit here so you move the leg. <laughs> 